everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is me, Sharon. Uh, of course, you already did it. But this is Sharon, and I have some people with me. Who, who, who I got with me? This is the one and only famous Jamal. Hmm. I'm TC. Well, well, well. TC and the famous Jamal. Yeah. What you famous for? I'm I'm created. I run the show. I'm glue to keep the factory together. Now let's announce on the video. What? Hey, excuse me. Well, what we're gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about something crazy. Chicago police shoot this young man ninety six times in forty one seconds. Can Can you imagine? I mean. Don't they have to reload a couple of times to get them many shots There's out? There's probably that many out there. The Maybe there's five of them out there. See, the thing is, when you got semi-automatics, you can fill all sim around simultaneously. Well, the other, the other thing is, not forget to mention, the boy shot the police officer in the arm. Well, yeah, we're going to get to that, but... Well, yeah, it was overkill. Yes, it was. Uh, that's what I'm saying. 96 times? Really? Then you really have to shoot that many times. No, you didn't, but the police say, get out, put your hands out, get out of the car. You know in Chicago, they can't, well, yeah, I in know. Chicago, they can't wait to shoot, shoot a black but, person. But see, the thing is, they let these migrants run a buck in Chicago. They can even, they can, the migrants, they can jump on a cop and beat him up and punch him and kick him, and nothing happened. Let a black man jump on a cop in Chicago and see what happens to him. It's, I don't think in Chicago, migrants would get away with it. In New York, they might. Yeah, in New York, they got away with it. And in Chicago. Well, in Chicago, they run in the muck. They run in the muck. In Chicago, ain't nobody doing nothing. They going in, wiping out all the stores and just walking out with bags full of stuff. And nobody's doing see, nothing. See, when your skin a little lighter, you can get away with more things. That's well, all I'm going to say. Well, let, 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 let a black person walk into Blue Blue Lemons well, and, and fill up a bag full of stuff. Well, we're doing too much out. talking. Let's get this video oh, wait, going. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, excuse no. me. Excuse I'll me, come on. to the video. Wait a minute. Roll the windows down. Roll the windows down. Roll the window down. What are you doing? Roll this one down. Roll that one down, too. Roll that one down. Hey, don't roll the window up. Don't roll the window up. Hey, okay. Do not roll the window up. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. Second video oh, camera, oh, body oh, camera. Oh, Yeah. 
Yeah. He's down there still shooting at him. Yeah. How you gonna show you? How you gonna show you his hands? He's he been shot up on the ground. Man dying, and you won't see his hands. See his hands. I, I, and then the thing is, they went over there and put handcuffs on him. On the dead man. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, me being pulled over, they determined they're gonna take you to jail. Just go to jail. It's gonna I, be avoided. I mean, he could. I mean, he got out of the car anyway. I mean, then why you want you get full of bullets before you get out of the car? Oh, being ignorant, being ignorant. This is what ignorance do to you. This is another Gen Z right here. Yeah, he's twenty six years old. Right, I can see it. I, I can see it's stupid. But the thing is, now when you're surrounded by five cops that got the guns out, just go on and get out of the just car. Just get out of the car. So look, 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 uh, Mister Policeman. I got a gun. You can, you more than welcome going to get it yourself. I ain't getting it for you. You know, have me gun. No, no, oh, no. If you want that gun, you gonna come in here and get it yourself. I ain't taking it I know you just waiting for an opportunity to, to fire up my black butt. As you can tell, they was already ready to shoot him up. And the thing is, now you see how attentive his windows were. Yeah. They said that he got pulled up because of a seat belt. He didn't have a seatbelt. How did they see his seatbelt? Well, when is that 10? That's a good question. I mean, that's the funny question to me. If the window's that dark, how can you tell whether somebody got a seatbelt or not? Do you got equipment with you to tell you that somebody ain't got no seatbelt on? Who knows? No. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, they, they, were, they were five of them riding around the car and they saw a, they saw a ninja driving. They said, hey, y'all want to have some fun today? Yeah. Pull them over. I mean, you could tell by the din in the car that he was up to no good. I don't mean, don't mean he deserved to be overkill in Chicago. When because he, have a oh, no, 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 no. In Chicago, usually when you got a car, a gun, driving around and you black with tenant windows that way. And a den in your the car, car, they gonna pull you they over. They gonna pull you over. You made yourself a target. Wait a minute now. I can see the one. But now, explain the dent. What the dent in the car got to do with anything? That's in Chicago. You look suspicious. You look suspicious in Chicago like that. That's what the dent has to do with it. Chicago police ready to kill you anyway. They're looking for any reason any to pull you over. Any opportunity to pull you over. Then they go not to roll the windows. That meant he was going to go get a gun when he was rolling the window up. Man, and, and why would he roll the window up? That's why I don't understand. I just told you. I mean, and then why do you think you're going to shoot five police officers? Mm, he shot at, we shot at one. But if you're going to shoot one, you might better shoot, you better shoot a he didn't, have, he didn't have time for all that. But why do you want to shoot one? Young, dumb no, generation. This is the young and dumb generation, the lost generation. I mean, did he not have anybody to teach him anything when he was growing up? Young and, and dumb, dumb generation. They weren't taught nothing. No, they was taught, but they refused to listen. You can't tell them nothing. They know everything. So you find, so you effed around and found out and got yourself killed. Mm-hmm. That's what you did. Because you know everything. I'm not taking, I'm not taking the slack off Gen Z. Not all of them that way, but for him, the majority of them are this way. They won't listen to nothing. You can't tell them nothing. They ain't ready to do nothing. But no, no his, his mama said he was an angel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. They always he was say a sweet that. boy. They always say that. At what age when he's in elementary school? Oh, mm-hmm. That's about the farthest he was sweet at. Now, they already shooting up your car. Why are you going to get out? So I guess they they, figure, they told me to get out. So if I get out now, they'll stop shooting. No, that won't go to happen. You should have stayed in the car. And died in the car? He, he probably had a better chance of being alive than getting out of the car. But he's probably pretty much already about dead. Yeah, he's anyway. about dead anyway. He so, wasn't thinking. So, all right. Well, let's play some more. <laughs> this is the third body cam. <laughs> Oh, 
Dumb. Oh, but his mom said he's an angel. They look like no angel to me. I don't remember angels <laughs> calling from heaven and shooting at police officers. I don't remember it. <laughs> now, he got his stuff killed. And he basically killed his mama, too. Pretty much. In, in the process. So, over a stupid decision, you you two lives got messed up. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody else is doing too, but your mama, he, he, he destroyed his mama in the process because he was going to do what he wanted to do. I mean, somebody told us, man, you don't have to listen to no pogey. Hey, you do what you want to do. I mean, I, maybe he saw the news where the migrants were running wild in the city. He figured, up, hey, they can run wild. I run wild too. See, but the thing is, he's black. But he forgot that. He forgot he was black in America. So then why why the non citizen migrants can do what they want to do and they don't get shot up? The skin is a little lighter. But I'm gonna tell you why this is going on. Because they don't know the law. He knows the law. Oh they I'm talking about when you run out. I'm talking about when you come over. Now, come on, mama. No, no come well, on, everybody mama. knows that you don't go in the store and steal something that ain't yours. Oh, now, I don't, I don't care on. what country you come from. Oh, no, no, they, no. they ain't going there with guns shooting, shooting people. people. I don't care, but you mm. know you're doing wrong when you go in and steal they don't something. Care about they, don't, they don't care nothing about that. I know, but I'm, I know they don't, but I'm saying the police know this and they let them do it. Because they ain't going around because shooting shoot people. So. If we go in the store and steal... You're going to jail. You're going to jail. They're not going to jail. Oh, because they haven't been caught yet. Because their skin is not black. And the thing is, they haven't all been identified and caught yet. Well, no. then when they get caught, they let them out. Oh, we're, right. getting, we're getting off topic. Right. Well, no, we ain't getting off topic because we're talking about what's happening in Chicago. And we're talking about a bike which can do what they want to, but a black person can't do what they want they to. Well, in America, shoot nobody. You think a black person is going to shoot a police officer and that's going to be it? I'm not saying that. We're yeah. black. We already got we, two strikes. We already again. got two strikes on us anyway. We're black. That's one strike. No. no that's, and, that's a double one. That's a double strike. The other side of the part is stupid. Yeah. When you're black and stupid, you get stupid reaction. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Exactly right. So he won? Yeah, he won. That's winning. <laughs> For him, man. For him, that's winning. Yeah. I shot him. I shot him five more. I shot a cop. Yeah. I play some more. Shots fired. Shots fired. There we go. There we go. Killed him today. They tried to drive off real quick. Killed him today. They killed him. They killed him. He died. They killed him. They brought it on the The world that they just killed somebody. I ain't gonna show you that. Another George Floyd. No, no, no. no, no. This no. Not the same thing. He brought this, this on, on himself. himself. When you bring it on yourself, it's not George Floyd. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, you seeing the death on on video oh, okay. like George uh, Floyd. Well, it was warranted. It was warranted. Now, when he just, started shooting, and they started shooting. That was a little bit of overkill. Of course. overkill, of course. A little. Mm -hmm. Overkill? Yeah. Of course, yeah. overkill was, it was overkill, but you brought, your actions brought that amongst yourself. Now, I guarantee you, all the officers will keep their job. Of course. Oh, yeah, because yeah. that was justified. Yeah, justified. That was justified. Of course, they're going to keep the job. You know, they, 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 they got them on um, administrative duty now, yeah. but they, nobody, go, their, his mama calling for them all to be fired they, and have criminal charges against them. That's not what happened. But look, no, if, if he hadn't a shot at Mighty Woodland, but since mm -hmm. he initiated the shooting, it, it, you know, nothing will happen to them. Like I said, go just have them on administrative duty until they do their little internal investigation, and then they're going to find out that it was, um, yes, it was a little overkill, but it was justifiable. Yep. Right now, they're suspended with pay. They're at home. Yeah. Suspend me with pay. You ain't heard me. You ain't heard me. No. I take that all day, every day. They offer that at my job. No, I'll play some more. Give me a show with you. They're going to keep showing us over and over again. That's how I'm fast forward. What's your wonder dog, man? They're they showing it from different sides. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? They want this one now, too.
Chicago News. Usually when they're carrying a gun with them, something about it. Uh, it might be another optic he was going for. In Chicago, that old block in that gang something going on up there. Mm -hmm. He might have been affiliated. He might not have been one, but he was affiliated with them. Well, there's really not much more we can really oh, say. Like, share, comment, <laughs> yeah, subscribe. Well, I ain't finished. I'm just saying. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. No. See, see, I, 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 you know, you, you kind of getting a little aggressive. No, in you my got aggressive. Go ahead, go say what you got to say. I ain't feeling that. Okay, now what? What I was gonna say was that you no. Know, everybody knows. Well, I'm just gonna break it down and be ugly with it. I'm gonna be ugly with you. Now you know good and well. See, we're we're uh, 
160 years away from slavery. Am, am, am my math correct? Oh. Since we've been free anyway. Yeah, my math correct. Because yeah, freedom right. 1865 and 1965 would have been 100 years. So, yeah, so, that's about right. So we're 160 years away from slavery. Now, these black women popping out these babies like popcorn. See, back then, the slave master wanted you to do that because they need, uh, you know, new workers for the field. So they, they, they encouraged that. Now, they don't want your black babies. So now they got to come in and weed them out. Want that don't go to prison, go to the grave. And everybody know you get rid of the black man, there ain't no black babies, right? That's right. That's what they say. So, and you know this. You know they don't want you here. And my thing is now, this is something for the ladies. I, I feel I feel for this this boy mama. You know, I saw a news clip with her mom on with his mom on there talking, and she she is just destroyed. She said she felt all those bullets that that they put in him. And I'm sure she did. I'm you know, she she not physically but emotionally she felt all that pain. Uh, and you know, and watching her son die on video like that, that that's horrible. That that just nobody should have to go through that. But somebody was telling me that now Walmart and Target sell birth control pills over the counter. You don't even need a doctor's uh, prescription. Go to Walmart and Target. All you, you young girls popping out these babies like, you know, Easter candy. Go get you some birth control pills and stop having all these children. You know, these men go to run when you talking about, I'm pregnant. They go to run for the hills. They don't want no babies. You don't really want no babies. You can't afford no babies. And you don't know how to take care of them. You're raising monsters. You're raising uh, people that, that go out here in the street and do all kinds of crazy things. So why don't you go just get some birth control pills, go to school, learn a trade, and get get out of the hood. Because, you know, the, the cops, they, they like to go in the hood and, and find all you, 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 you darkies. And then they like to get rid of it. So why not go and get your education? Get take your pills and get a, and, and learn a skill and get out of the hood and before you start having babies that you can't afford and that you don't want. Don't that make sense? Am, am I wrong? It makes sense, but when you got people that's headstrong on being when stupid. Be stupid when they're young, they turn into grown stupid. Well, why not just take a pill? Why can't you just take a well, pill? Well, that's not that's neither here or there. They here. They, they you already here now. I know, but the, 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 then you're not taking care of them. You're not teaching them nothing. You're not spending time with no, them. No, no, I disagree. They being taught, but they refuse to learn. Well, that's something that don't mm -hmm. teach you. Yeah, but, but when you refuse to learn, you can't tell you nothing. You know everything. You're going to figure it out. You're going to F around and find out. And you get F around and find out problems. And that's why the problem is we got today. But you see, you ain't winning. So why you keep doing Cause it? Because they stupid. You understand? They stupid. Stupid can't be fixed. You can fix dumb, but stupid is hard to fix. Yeah. Well, how do you know the difference? That's a difference. That was stupid. That was stupid. That wasn't dumb. That was stupid. Why, did, why, why, why it have to be like that? Because they why, stupid. But why you have to be stupid? Because they choose to be stupid. stupid. They think being stupid is cool. Yeah, stupid is cool now. Really? Yeah, now yeah. stupid is cool. One time stupid wasn't cool. What once used to not be cool is now cool. You can't rationalize with this type of thing. You can't. But you see people dying around you like... They don't care about that. They don't care that. about that. They don't care about nothing that. You can't rationalize with being stupid. Well, stupid. I say I can't identify with that. Well, right, that's, that's, the, that, that's the difference. That's the correlation right you there. You can't identify we with that. don't identify with mm -hmm. it because we went from a stupid era, a stupid generation. 
You can't just why why people want to be stupid. They just stupid. They just stupid. They choose to be stupid. They choose to be ignorant. Cause that's cold now. At one time, your parents slapped you across. Hey, hey, stupid! Don't be stupid. Well, see, so they if they had still had parents to slap them across the head and tell themselves to be stupid, they won't be stupid. They won't no, be as stupid. There won't be that many stupid people out here. There still will be some, but you won't have as much as you got today. Well, quit trying to reason and rationalize with it. You can't. I just want us. I want. I want our people to get right. When Jesus comes, that's when they go get right. I, I want us to get right. I mean, like I said, 160 years from slavery, and we still need master to tell us what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. I mean, can't we make a decision? Well, a clear decision. Some of us can, and some, some of us can't. can't. I know, but. See, you still trying to rationalize. You trying, you're trying to view it from yeah. where you view it from your lens. You're not viewing it from a person that's choosing to be stupid lenses. But you see stupid not working. They don't, they don't care. care about none of that. They don't care. They, they want to be stupid. They're going to be stupid. stupid. You, want, you want to F around and find out? Go out there and find out. You can't. And die? Well, hey, that's you how you be find stupid. Out. That's how you go find, find out. out. Quit trying to make sense of this and rationalize this. You can't. I hate to see young people gunned down on the street like animals. Oh, it is what it is. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. I, I, I stopped trying to make, make sense of it. You can't make it make sense of it. All right. Till next time, people. Uh, go down there and hit that, uh, go down there and hit that like button. And uh, you young, sassy, uh, think you know everything, women. I know y'all like to shop at Walmart and Target. So go on over to Walmart and Target, get you some over the counter birth control pills, $18 for a 28 day supply, and stop having these wild baby hyenas <laughs> running the streets. Well, until next, next time, people, I believe we're done. Well, uh, did I say a uh, like, comment? Yes, did I say all that? Yeah, you said all that. Uh, uh, y'all gonna do that? What? Well, oh. Um, Let's get it right, people. Uh, parents, grandparents, try to try to reel them in. Try to tell them something. Somebody, somebody do something. They don't care. They'll be mm -hmm. taught what to be learned. Nah. Until next time, people. We out.